Hi everyone, today I have a digital inclinometer which I found online. It has a GPS so it gives you your speed, the time, your date, position and all kinds of other indication as well. And I realized that the size is almost the same as my Pajero. So we're going to install it. Okay, so the process is actually quite straightforward. First of all, um, you're going to remove these four screws that is holding this white cover to the front of panels for the meter. Alright, once that's off, there are just a few screws that are holding the individual meters. And take care of this knob as well, you can just slide it off before you remove the screws for the panel to lift the panels off. Okay, so now you can see the front transparent protective cover is off and we can now proceed to remove the individual meters. So let's start with the altimeter. Just slide off the black cover and you can see the altimeter there. And here this is the temperature gauge. Well, the whole thing is digital. So now you can just lift it off, right? The reason why I'm showing you this is that the inclinometer actually has three more screws which are accessible from behind. So let's remove them as well. Now, we have the old inclinometer off and you can see my old one is broken. And we compare it to the size of the digital inclinometer that I have. And it looks like it's okay, but I have to remove the cover for this uh, digital inclinometer as well. All right. And it seems to be the GPS piece and the digital screen. Oh, it's just connected using a ribbon, so be careful with that. And let me see, seems like everything fits inside nicely. Okay, that's good news. And for the digital screen, seems like it's slightly smaller than the front cover. So this was the old inclinometer. Check it out, it has a, like a extra four pieces of corner, which is actually uh, there, it's whole using this particular plastic which I can now cut it away because I want only the front panel and seems like it's plastic riveted to the inclinometer so by cutting them away there I can lift the front panel off and we have no use for the back inclinometer anymore okay so this is the front piece that fits onto the front cover and this is how it looks like with the digital screen looks good okay except that the button is now hidden because the button is behind the little panel but no worries let me mark it up and using a uh, the dr dremel tool i'm gonna make a hole big enough for the button to go through okay so let's start drilling and be careful okay i just need to trim the side a little bit as well so that the digital screen, which is square, can be flushed on the panel. Okay, looking good. Mm -hmm. And the button, check it out. It's round and it's perfect. And this side is kind of flush as well. Okay, so I'm just going to use some uh, industrial double-sided tape to fasten the digital screen to the panel and also the GPS module to the digital screen. Okay, and let's boot it up to check it out. All right, seems like it's working fine. The buttons are also okay, it's smooth. And now let's wire it up. So this particular cable is provided with uh, the digital inclinometer. Although it looks like it's a USB, but actually the system can support anything from 5 volt up to 24 volts. So you can actually wire it directly to the power source. Okay, so I made the hole slightly bigger so that I can put the wire through. And now the entire digital inclinometer plus the panel is in. Let's put back the front panel. Seems like it's a perfect fit. Alright, okay. 
put the whole thing back into my Pajero. Yep. And seems like everything looks good. Power it up and it's working. Alright. So it will take a while for the GPS to lock and you'll get you the time and date and everything else. Okay. And let me see. Okay. The button seems okay. Slightly indented inside, but it's fine. Once the GPS lock, you'll get something like this. And let me bring you through all the function in the menu. So the boot up screen, you'll see something like this. The red big one is the date, and then you have your speed. Pass time means how long uh, the digital vehicle has been running. Distance means uh, the distance since it's been running. And voltage is the current input voltage. So if you're using USB, you'll get like probably 5 volt and usually for normal battery you get 12 volt it's currently showing 10 volts right now because uh, my battery is kind of weak by pressing the menu lightly once you get to the inclinometer so uh, to get it zero which means you reset it as long as your car is stable you just go ahead and press and hold the button until you hear a beep and it will reset itself to zero and I like it because currently it's kind of matched with the original inclinometer degrees. So it looks like it's part of the whole Pajero meter, but yet it's digital. And the next page is all about the current GPS. So basically how many of the GPS uh, satellite that you've been locked into and also the particular position okay, uh, stated there as well. The problem is right now, if you will try to Google for this particular meter, which is actually the All2 X95, you don't get much information about what's the GPS chipset or how many satellites can it lock into. However, so far the performance, I've been quite happy with it, especially for the price that I bought it like, I think it's just like around 25 US uh, from online. Next is the speedometer, very big speedometer with the time at the bottom, uh, the heading on the top right, and on the top left is actually the altitude. So it's kind of nice because now I can compare that altitude to the one on the left, and the altimeter on the left, I can actually just twist around to set where I am or how much more I'm going up or down and stuff like that. And next we have the bigger screen of the time and the date and the day. Well, just nice to have to just have it there if you don't need to use the inclinometer or especially when you're driving around in the city or on the highway. Last but not least, you have the settings page which you have your language, the speed you need, speed alarm to set it when to give you alarm if you pass that speed. Uh, the speed adjustment, that means it's just like calibration and even some color settings, very little color settings on the data screen. All right, and that's it. And here's the comparison of the old inclinometer to the new one. So it's kind of like a more modern twist to it. Alright, so thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe to the channel for more DIYs and check out my other videos as well. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.